so now it's time for us to turn it over to our demonstrator, uh, Christy Jackson. Come on, Christy. Are you ready? Technical difficulties. Are we here? Yep. Are we here? Yep. You're there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, good, good, good. So I am going to do one of my quick and easy meals. Um, for those that may not know, I do this as a side gig. I am a full-time nurse and a photographer, and I still have time for Tupperware. And mind you, be very successful at it. I became a director in July, and I'm super excited. Next month, fingers crossed, I will earn my car and my trip to Hawaii. Whoop, whoop. So one of the meals I like to do with my family, really quick and easy for a family, a little feed about four is in the staff cooker. Um, so first thing I do is I cube up some potatoes and put them in some water. And one of the things I do is I leave my skin on my potatoes because that's where your most nutrients come from. And for those of you that may not know, our scrub towels are awesome for actually cleaning the potatoes off. So you can get all the dirt and everything off of them and then you can cut them in and you don't have to worry about washing them off so much it comes right off it's great so i have those cubed here and then i am going to put the um, smaller casserole dish on top there and in here in our season and serve which i love because you could flip it it's been marinating since this morning i cut um chicken breast in half and I soaked them in Italian dressing. And um, all I'm gonna do is lay them in the casserole, like so. And you could do quite a bit of chicken in here. And the crazy thing is, is you can make this three course meal in the microwave in literally um, 20 minutes. And it's great for the family. Um, the kids, if they want to cook, it's safe for them to use because they can do it right in the microwave. Um, it's quick and easy for people that are on the go, go, go. Um, so that I'm going to put aside. So that's veggie or starch, chicken. And then in the lid, I flipped over the stack cooker lid. I'm going to do an apple vanilla crumble. So I'm just going to layer apples in here. I used our mandolin to slice them up, which makes it really easy. Um, and then I just take some vanilla cake mix. This is two thirds of a cup and I just sprinkle it all over the top. And then I take a half a stick of butter and pat it. And you just go ahead and put it all over the top of, if it's not so soft, all over the top of the apples. And then you just repeat and do the same thing. Spread the apples. Can't go wrong with some more cake mix either, right? So you just sprinkle that on top. And then you do the same thing with the other half. You just lay it over the apples. And then what happens is that it's baking in the oven or microwave, <laughs> um, cooking in the microwave, it melts the butter and the butter kind of melts into the cake mix and then cooks the apples. And oh my gosh, it's so delicious. So you just stack it all on top of each other like that and I am going to stick it in the microwave for 20 minutes. And afterwards, I am gonna mash the potatoes with a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, some sour cream, and a cup, maybe two, of cheese. And you just mash it all up and they're nice and creamy and oh my gosh, they're so good. And that's that, 20 minutes, dinner for a whole family, three course meal and you could be out the door to your kids sports or anything else that you have planned so all right thank you That's you're welcome oh, i love it 